you have to at some point forfeit the normal life yeah and dive into that before you have a big enough pool to dive into yeah you know what i mean yeah what's good y'all i hope everybody's number one staying blessed it's your boy marcus b as always with the one only mr evan simmons and new guy chris this is episode 75 proper I'm bad at counting numbers and things overlap, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, it's me and the boys getting together. Uh, we talk about food, uh, auditions, opening up a food truck. It's still a dream of mine, even though I teach band. Uh, TV shows, things to watch. If you if you don't know about F1, the what is it? What is it called, Chris? Formula F one. For, Formula One Drive to Survive. Yeah, on 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 Netflix, go check that that series out, and then we talk about uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Heads up, there are some spoilers if you haven't watched episode four of that show yet. Uh, we talk about some things in there. Anyways, if you like what we're doing out here, make sure you like, follow, share, and subscribe. Get it out to as many homies as you can. That's the only way that the audience grows. So we appreciate any help that we can get from y'all. Otherwise, if you need any vitamin supplements, apparel, anything like that, make sure you go to Redcon 1. Uh, we keep talking about this commercial that we're going to make one day. Still working on it. Uh, um, uh, use promo code T20MarkusB and you get 20% off your entire order. Hope you guys enjoy the episode. Peace. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, started uh, started the marching band auditions. Yeah, um, this year, and this is interesting because it's the first time I like legitimately get to do it. Because our first year, I planned to do auditions in May. And then the counselors were like, hey, hey no. we need the list by May 1st. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I was like, UIL is on the April 24th. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> so I had like an audition day. I was like, hey, come out and uh, pick a drum and I'll hopefully I get a read on where you're supposed to be. Okay. Uh, and then last year it was, you know, Zoom yeah. and stuff. So this year I have like actually three weeks come out. On right. Thursdays, come through an hour. Let me see your progression week to week. Let me see who shows up. So day one down. Good. Not bad. I had a decent turnout, uh, regardless of the uh, the typhoon that came through. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, was odd. Something. Small, yeah. Small hurricane. Uh, like I, I saw that it was gonna rain, but I didn't think it was gonna be like. Yeah, small hurricane. I mean, like it got it got like gloomy around like lunchtime, and I was like, "What's that? Uh, hey, <laughs> what's gonna? Uh, what's going on over there?" And I'm hoping that it doesn't continue because my plan's tomorrow to go to the, go hiking in the morning because I'm taking a. No, it's supposed to. Are you taking tomorrow off? Yeah, too. I'm taking tomorrow off because I'm just. Oh, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Rough. Hopefully, it doesn't rain in Austin. <laughs> yeah, I was at work and we were out in Moody, and we were driving back, and it was kind of like how it was now, like. It wasn't super dark, but it was cloudy. Yeah. You know? And we were driving, and then all of a sudden just got dark. Like, oh, yeah. Like, it, it, like a... tornado a weather dark. Yeah. I don't know what that and is. And it like... started, you couldn't see while you're driving, and it started hailing at one point. Jesus. It, the hail was like penny size too. You saw it bouncing off the truck. Oof. Yeah. My Miata and motorcycle were uncovered. Super cool. Wet cars. So do cars dry out? Like, okay, that sounds dumb. <laughs> <laughs> luckily, luckily, because I have the the convertible, like, yeah. it's not going to be a big deal to dry it out. Like, it's not going to get... Just go park it in the sun. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just, yeah. I just go park it in the sun, it'll dry out, and I won't have that, uh, too much of that musty smell. Okay, I'm going to say it won't, like, mildew or whatever. Yeah. Right? But, uh, I mean, yeah, I'm going to... Re- indoors. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to replace the interior anyways. Okay. Um, been trying to find parts... Like just going going junkyard. Yeah. It's like it's, it's like the you know the seats are are torn up. Yeah, and uh, there's just not too many too many Miatas around. There's not too many junkyards around 
temple. Yeah. yeah. And then there's not too many Miatas in the right, like, two junkyards seen, we have. I've seen yeah. two Miatas since I've been here. So. <clears throat> yeah, it's a damn shame. Sure. I think it's a really popular like project car. It is yes, a really popular is, project car. Is. And yeah. So that's, I've seen te- several TikToks about um, like got <laughs> like guys in their twenties like getting getting a Miata to uh, fix it up. Damn it. <laughs> At this, <laughs> for the record, I was supposed to get a 74 Prelude. I'm so angry I didn't get it. That lady was such an, oh, <laughs> such an asshole. Speaking of fixing cars, though, my I have an video on my truck. No. No. You get a transmission yet? So they they took the transmission out, rebuilt it, put it back in. No. Yeah. Didn't start. Cool. Right now it was a safety switch. Okay. Replaced the harness for that. It turned on. Went to go drive it, and it was doing the same exact thing it was doing before they rebuilt the transmission. So, like, the RPMs wouldn't rev up. It was stuck in first gear. It wouldn't shift out of... Uh, it would go into reverse, but it wouldn't go in reverse. It would go park, neutral, and drive. And that's it. <sighs> so, they <laughs> checked all the forward. sensors, make sure it wasn't any, like, drive sensors or anything like that. Yeah. That was fine. Uh, checked all the wiring harness. I guess that was fine. So, now the next thing is to replace the computer. So True. I looked it up. It's not terrible. It's like 150 bucks. Oh, okay. So, okay. But in order to do that, you have to reprogram it for the vehicle. Otherwise, it just locks it out. <laughs> so they put the computer in yesterday. Well, they're supposed to put it in Tuesday. Whoever they ordered it from sent them the wrong one. Badass. So then when they had to wait for yesterday, put the new computer in, and then they don't do the programming there at the shop that I sent it to. So they have to get it sent over to the programming shop to get it programmed and they're also a few days behind so right. might get it tomorrow probably next week Oof. based on what how this has been going but they said <laughs> they're not charging me past the computer price so okay i'm That's not good. charging for transport or programming or anything like that good. so good and after the transmission was put in i was only charged for parts so. nice mm. nice so i'm hoping that because of, i mean it kind of sucks because, like, they are losing money off of my truck, but at the same yeah. time, like, I feel like they kind of diagnosed it wrong at yeah. the, from the beginning. Yeah. So. Damn, Oof. could you imagine if you just had to replace the computer this entire time? <laughs> That's probably what it was, but they did say they do, like, a, they take the transmission pretty much, like, not out of the truck, but they run the transmission, like, by itself. Yeah. And they said it was shot. Ah, okay. So, uh, that, I think that's where they thought the problem was because it probably was because I did run the fluid dry on it. Yeah. And I didn't know, so. Yeah, like, it just, it, like a bunch of problems just culminated into, yeah. you know. You live yeah. and you learn. And then yeah. they were also talking about, like, the computer could have also made the transmission go bad. Because I did notice that, like, whenever I was driving the truck, it wasn't driving bad, but it was, like, sluggish. Yeah. yeah. And then some days it would drive really good. Like, I'd barely push on the gas, and it was, like, accelerating super fast, like a like my dad's new truck or whatever. Yeah. And then other days I'd start it, and it would barely get like up and down a hill or whatever so that might have been part of it i just didn't think anything of it i just thought that was just how the truck drived damn so hopefully i'll get it back and can start working on it hopefully i bought a bunch of stuff to repaint it and detail it and stuff so good about some detail stuff if y'all want your cars detailed so i'm trying to still trying to just Buy a damn house, man. This shit's oh, yeah. stressful. <laughs> it's yeah. so goddamn stressful. Yeah, I, would, I, I don't. I don't understand how Atlanta did so. Like, I think well, they, casually. Well, whenever she went to do it, it was very like her mom was just like, "Hey, go in there, <laughs> go ask for a house." So I think it was very like <laughs> casual like that. Um, yeah, because it's that's not the case for your boy. But she's all, she also bought a new home too. Well, I mean far easier because i think you just have to be like here's the money well that's the thing it's like you have to get approved for a certain amount Mm -hmm. for the loan of the house right yeah i was only approved for x amount and then my dad was like yo i'm down to help you out Mm. so he with his approval we got a substantially higher amount naturally but then I with him on. I don't get qualified for. Uh, um, is it closing assistance or or sure. down payment assistance? I think it's down payment. Sure. Yeah. So it's this like I was talking to Caesar about it. It's like it's basically like a whack a mole. Like if I go by myself, 
I, I get assistance, but it's a cheap house, cheaper house, or I could go with my dad and I get no assistance, but I don't have any cash to like make up for the right. lack of assistance. Or I could go somewhere in the middle and I have to pay some cash and get some assistance. It's just like, I just want, I just want a garage, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I just want a garage. So that way I, I could have my Miata and bike not get flooded on right. random typhoon days. <laughs> yeah. You're also trying to buy one in the hard housing market. I'm about to say, it's like, like the yeah, whatever you talk about, hell like, yeah. That's right now. I was like, wait a minute. Everyone's just saying how bad it is right now. Not good. Real it's hard. great to sell, but it's horrible to buy. There's so yeah. many people just that's got stacks of money that are just. Oh, you damn Californians! Houses. Yeah, the Californians are coming out to. I need you to chill house. Out. Why are you coming to Temple, bro? There ain't nothing out here. Are they going to Temple? I don't even go to the Temple. They are Somebody temple. is. <laughs> temple Somebody is buy these houses. A, uh, housing mm. town, and then everybody just commutes to Waco or Austin yeah. for work. Makes they, sense. Because I knew there was like the three big neighborhoods going in like off of thirty first towards yeah. the end. Yeah. And then there's like mm-hmm. some other ones. And then with work, I've been driving around and there's like five or six ones that are like hidden that are going up. Really? Yeah. There's a lot coming up. And then those people just commute to Waco or Austin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well sense. a lot of the uh like the space between here and, and Belton, like yeah, all that's I th- coming I up think, too. I think each, like, slowly, like, each yeah. thing is getting built. So, like, there's just going to be eventually like, this super meld of yeah. who is where. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely going to be just houses pretty much here. But, but hey, man, I'm going to get still a house. all the local businesses too, though. So. For sure. Yeah. Bro, Norm was telling me about the downtown. Apparently, it's going to pop off, like, Within the next couple of years. I mean, yeah, there's a lot going on. Down, yeah, down like like uh, Norm just like runs with like a lot of the people that like city planners, I guess. I don't know. Norm knows everybody. Yeah, he's yeah. that type of guy. <laughs> but apparently, like we're getting like a bakery mm. uh, right next to Trenio. It's gonna be like okay. I don't know if you've seen this the sign. I, I don't know. It's a M E X I K O. Oh, is it the, the Mexican, Mexican Korean, Korean joint? Place? Yeah, yeah. Super oh yeah, 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 yeah. They already had the sign. Up yeah, for it. I'm yeah. here for it. And then there's gonna be like like a bakery, uh, a couple other shops. Like I've, I've heard about those area. like food trucks and stuff like that. Like it's about, it's about to food trucks are gonna be popping off. Yeah, there's there's two down there next to like the railroad tracks. There's King's Crabs. I don't know what the other one is. The yeah. King Crabs ones look good. I I've been go meaning there. to go to. I've been meaning to go. I'm about, should, I'm about go to King's Con- Crabs. I'm not I'm about Coney's. Coney's is the other one, I think. I guess probably yeah, that's the burger one. There's also I don't know if I knew. There's like a soul food place. Down there, yeah, yeah. He, he, whenever I had COVID, he got me uh barbecue from there. Yeah. It, good? It, it was, it was good, yeah. Okay. It, we like, we tried was... to go there for lunch at work one time, but they said they opened at 11 and then like the door was locked, so he knocked and they said they didn't open until 11 30. We we're like, well, you want to get 30 minutes for lunch, so <laughs> damn, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, yeah, but, yeah, it, it was good food, it was definitely um, it was solid. <laughs> whenever you got it, you said it was like very uh. Like they they kind of threw it together a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it felt, and I don't mean this in a derogatory term. It felt like a soul food joint. Yeah, like it was like I walk in, nobody greets me. Like, like everybody just kind of sitting there. I'm like, somebody yeah. has to work here, right? Like whose grandmother <laughs> is in the like someone's grandmother's in the kitchen making this? And there's an old person behind the counter. They put out, I'm pan, a, they put out pans eventually. <laughs> like it's yeah. And then I was just kind of like stood by the counter. They're like, "Oh, you trying to order?" Yeah. <laughs> oh, what you need? A menu. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. It... What kind of food did they have there, though? Because I saw it's like a southern cuisine. So yeah, it was like, like it was like Louisiana. I mean, what, what I what I got was like barbecue. Yeah, uh, but I think they can like kind of do anything though. I, I, th- I, I think it's like a rotating menu. It's it's such a small joint where mm-hmm. it's like they got two people cooking, and it's like, hey, what you want to cook today? Right. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's like they got the the plates are like two meats two sides one meat one side two meats three sides and there's your prices and it's like these are what we have today yeah so, you know i i, I kind of like that yeah there, there's style. a lot, there's a lot of joints like that there's one um i see it on tiktok all the time it's, it's some place called in kingsville alabama i think they um he like shows like the the menu every morning like he does like breakfast like like Hell southern yeah. style breakfast food and it's just like a full like you know buffet of like breakfast stuff and it's like oh just random like here's our menu for today like it just changes every day it's, it's pretty um it's I, a, it's a lot of diversity for um 
your menu, which kind of scares me sometimes, but it's also like, yeah. hey, if you can cook all of it, you can cook all of it. Mm. I feel like having like a large variety. Var- variety? No, nope, that's You got it. <laughs> variety. Yeah, it Attaboy. is. <laughs> that you can cook. It would make, like, it makes each thing you cook better just because you know different techniques and stuff. Of yeah. How to cook things. Yes and no. And then you, or you just have those people that's like, nah, I got the best gumbo. I'm about to say, like, you, you can have. <laughs> You can have the Canes model or you can have the McDonald's model. Yeah. Like where, you know, McDonald's, you can make anything in the world. We'll That's make good. filet fish and put cheese on it. We don't I mean, care. I guess that makes sense. Because if you focus on one thing, then you can focus on Yeah, you just make that. Good, but you just make that thing like. If you're focused on making a bunch perfect. of things good, then that's when. Yeah. It gets dicey. And, you yeah. know, you have to have your, your, it just comes out to a choice what, what you feel in your okay. heart. I think if you can make it, make all the things. If you can't. Yeah. Um, don't. <laughs> <laughs> or if you do, try it out at home first. Yeah. Like, yeah. I had this dream of, uh, a, 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 like, on the next level of, like, the food truck dream. Just your grilled cheese dream? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's that's in level one. That's that's That floats in the level phase, one. Phase yeah. one. <laughs> level two is, like, having such clout where there is no menu. It's just, like, $10. Oh, that's a that, 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 and it's it's and it's, it's like move. it's never gonna be the same thing. It's just like here you go. You just write you just write the allergies. And go <laughs> yeah. off the side. That's it. That's all you do. It's just like hey, if you're allergic to this stuff, don't eat it. Can't eat it today. But, <laughs> uh, or option one, option two. Oh, pick, pick a door. <laughs> oh, it'll be a fun fun little menu. Could you <laughs> could you could you imagine how good? good the food had to be for you to trust, just trust somebody like that. Right. Like, I mean, that's like, it's a tasting menu in, right. in essence, which I mean, like, yeah, like, uh, it's quite literal. You know, you go to, um, God bless. There's, uh, this, this joint that I follow, uh, sushi ATX, I think. Mm. And they just, it's a pop-up spot and mm. it's, Oh my God, dude. It's just like that super high level. Yeah. Sushi, and I think it's like a 12, 14 course meal. Yeah. Ugh. And just every every day, it just changes a little bit. They've got you know their 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 tried and trues, but you know six six things that's established, then like six things that's trying it out this time. It's like damn. Yeah, I mean, like if you if you're a chef and you can um you can like experiment, like good for you. Like you should be able to. I feel like as a, it's like being like a good anything <laughs> like yeah. you should be able to like do it in other ways if you're yeah. um, a um, musician what's, chef, like, oh, you know. that brings up a good point what's more impressive like in the in this in the simplest terms what's more mm. impressive gains or or mcdonald's that's a disservice chick-fil-a or mcdonald's mm, okay Wait, okay. What? Because Canes is is legitimately they just they they, <laughs> they make it's just thing. a chicken tender. Yeah. But like with with Chick Fil A, it's like it's the either the fried chicken or the grilled chicken. Right. Like just that, that that's basically the what it is. So it's it's it's, it's yeah. either the chicken sandwich, the loaded yeah. chicken sandwich, yeah, the grilled chicken sandwich, loaded gr- grilled chicken, or the nugs. Right. You know what I'm um, saying? Well, there's, I don't know. I guess uh, in reality, yeah, there, there, there the isn't. Thing. Yeah, there, there isn't as much. Uh, well, yeah, because they, they use the same like batter and stuff. Yeah. Like that, so it's kind of like the same like. Um, but I, I get what you're asking though. Like, shit, like you know, which one's more impressive? The doing one thing. Like, we do chicken. <laughs> like we do chicken here. At the, at, we make sausage okay, uh, on for breakfast apparently. Yeah. But like we do chicken and McDonald's is like, what do you want? <laughs> Cover all the bases, dog. Um, and it's th- garbage. It's garbage, but I still want it. God did, I, did I tell you my most recent trip there? I think I already did. I think so. We'll say, yeah, we yeah. went there, f- tried to get breakfast. Yeah. 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 Heartbreaking, uh, dog. Trash. I guess <laughs> pro- heartbreaking. probably if you can... Impressive being able to do it all. Okay. What makes you, like, legit is, um, uh, like, as far as, like, your, uh, your, what's the... What's the word I'm looking for? Like you're, you said clout, but like you're, you know, this guy yeah. makes the best like gumbo in the world. Street like, cred? Oh. Yeah. Like, Street like, cred, yeah. 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 Your, your, your credibility. Credibility. Yeah. There's the proper term. <laughs> I was like that. 
Um, yeah, as far as credibility goes, yeah, if you can make one thing like super well, that'd be like if someone makes like the best like pancakes in the world. I make the best pancakes. <laughs> This is what I like or like or like Franklin's Franklin's barbecue, where it's like oh. they make great barbecue across the board, but it's like brisket, brisket, like salt, that's, salt, pepper. What are these? Salt, that's, pe- yeah, just salt. salt and pepper. <laughs> salt, pepper, and fire. Right. This is why I like Whataburger. They got what? good burgers. They got pretty oh. pretty good chicken. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. The, 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 the menu was not very. Uh, it's not just like just like one thing. Right. You got. It's a variety pretty close to McDonald's, and it's yeah a lot better in my opinion. I, I Actually, they have more variety because they have like the different sauces and everything, like their sweet and spicy, mushroom Swiss. I would say you can do more customizations at uh, at Whataburger, yeah. And there's like the they have they have the what a catch and the um, mm. um what a chicken what a chicken. And then they have like their specials that they come in in and out of season. Yeah. God damn, I want a burger. <laughs> I had, I had salmon for... That a boy. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> trying again. Um, but yeah, I don't know. What, I think what, what, be... what do you think is more... Because uh, I don't know. Impressiveness versus credibility. I don't know how to... Um, I think... Qualify, which is better. At a certain level, the credibility overshadows the impressiveness. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because cause you know Franklin's uh, brisket's going to be so damn good. Right. You can order anything else and, you, and you're going to be happy with it. Right. You know what I mean? Where it's just like some spots, it's like you could only get, like everything is good, but like the thing that's like real good is like the like chicken fried steak. Right. <laughs> and then like the mashed potatoes are real good, but the mac and, che- mac, mac and cheese sucks. Yeah. And it's like, you know what I mean? Yeah, kind of... Um... There's like dark and light spots. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, just do yeah. like you know, just be good across the board. <laughs> it's kind of like uh, we were at work and we went. I don't know if y'all been to Jody's. Yeah, the yeah. Old Jody's. I still ain't been there. You so what? Yeah, I my, know, dog. my coworkers were like, "Oh man, you got to get the chicken fried steak. It's so good." It's like, all right. So I got the chicken fried steak and like, it's good for like the time period that the restaurant is taking in like old classic, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, bar or whatever. But it's. Not the best chicken fried steak I've ever had. It's just a slab of meat with some bread on it. Yeah. So, I don't know. Like, they said it was really good, but I thought it was okay. And so that's where I'm kind of, like, impressed in this because, like, somebody could say it's really good and they might like it, but then you might go and it's like. That's fair. Eh. That's fair. That's true. Yeah. Because, if, yeah, if the, um, if the one thing you do isn't, like universally like yeah then it, yeah they can be gone uh, that's that's what i mean by like at, at a certain point the the street cred becomes better because like yeah. universally franklin's brisket is like yeah, all right <laughs> that's the one They're like yeah they that's the one can't get any better yeah. than that yeah so, but yeah no I, I get what you're saying where it's yeah. just like be the local spot you hype it and it's just like right me, it's okay. Yeah, like, like Tony's makes the best chicken fried steak, best burger in the world. Or like a uh, weirder one, like down. they got the best <laughs> banana pudding. How many places got banana pudding, dog? Like, oh, so <laughs> how, how many places do you have banana pudding? And who really has? Uh, so the I'm best sure one? I can find somebody's grandma who can make it ten times better. Uh, so yeah. But my uncle makes like one of the best banana puddings ever. Like, there's no. That's another thing weird thing about like brisket and barbecue places. The best brisket I've ever had is from my uncle. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, like, well, that's, oh, <laughs> because, like, I've had some food at someone's house or at my house. I've been like, no one's food can come close to this. I don't yep. know. Like, mm-hmm. like the first time I had pho was, uh, I was when I was living in uh, Rowlett and um, with. Um, oh, you had homemade pho? My, 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 no, I went to play on a Sunday, play, went to my friend's uh, Vietnamese household and we played basketball for like four hours. And then came inside, and his mom, like, made, like, pho. And I sat around with their whole family. Oh, Jesus. And ate pho. <laughs> that's the best pho that's, I've ever that's had. A different, that's a different yeah. experience. That's a different level of experience. And yeah. I don't know if it's just the nostalgia behind it, but, like, best, best pho I've ever had. Anytime yeah. I go and get pho somewhere now, I'm like, it's not as good as Andy's mom's pho. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> well, dude, no, that's, like, that's how I feel about, like, Mexican barbecue. Oh, uh, 
You know what I mean? Where it's like the best Mexican barbecue I ha- I've ever had was at my homegirl's um, college graduation, high mm. school graduation. I don't remember what it was. Mm. But you go inside. <laughs> mom's got like that five-gallon tub of, uh, excuse me, three-gallon uh, pot of beans. And then she got that two-gallon pot of rice. Bop, bop. <laughs> got El Pastor somewhere. <laughs> and, but no, no, no. Then you just... Dad was outside, and he's got two uh, two warmers. Yeah. And just the lids, like, turn to the sides. And he doesn't know what he's grabbing. He's just like, and he, he's, you know, he cooked fajita, chicken fajita, pastor. Uh, a, that was a chicken. A, a, chi- a, a, chi- <laughs> a barbecue chicken. Yeah. Um, a short ribs, sausage. <laughs> and and everything just goes in the, into the, the bin of meat. And, <laughs> and he's just like, and fajita, and chicken leg, and chicken leg. And short rib. Next. <laughs> and you just, nothing makes sense. You don't know what you're going to oh, get. It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. Sense. And just, there's just a, 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 a gallon of salsa that somebody made. <laughs> don't know who. Is that in a milk jug? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, it is. And it's just, uh, that's the best Mexican food. Yeah, like, I nice. hate going to Mexican restaurants because that's not. As good as that. Oh, yeah. It's never going to live up to, like, you know, someone actually making it at home. Yeah. It's never. Being it in, in my in my, my homegirl's driveway while there's Norteños playing in the background and then uncle's up top of the garage yeah. messing with the piñata. Like. Right. <laughs> Like I, I don't know if it, I, like I, I don't know if it's just a vibe of, like, where you eat those things at or if it's, like, the food is actually better. At, yeah. Like, I don't so. know. I think it's both. I think it it is a little bit of both, right? Mm. I've definitely been places where it's like really lively, the vibe is great, and then you get to the food and it's like oh, food's great, like, kills, no, for kills sure. the vibe yeah. and everything. <laughs> I just it's definitely um, part of it. Yeah, I've eaten some food recently. At, I'm not gonna like disclose any of this, but been to someone's like home and had no. No, 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 no
and you don't have a choice <laughs> just <not. laughs> on what you're eating. It's just like, yeah, come over. My mom's making food. What's she making? I don't know. It's like, this is what we're eating, though. No, but like, you, <laughs> if you come over, you're going to eat. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think if if you can... The, the, the illusion of choice kind of ruins a lot of food. Right. If you're like, I didn't really want that. Like, like I don't really want a burger right now. If you're getting a burger, you're getting a burger. Yeah, you just come <laughs> over to my plate. Like, and and I, maybe that's why I, I like when I invite people over for yeah. dinners. I don't say what we're what we're having for dinner because it's just like, just come over. Right, the food's gonna be made. Right, it's I gonna, promise it doesn't suck. It's gonna be food, and it's gonna be a surprise. Like it, like doesn't. Yeah, the, the, I really need redemption on these goddamn. The last time we had pasta because those meatballs were oh, yeah. so mediocre. God damn, that makes me angry. Tiny balls. <laughs> yeah, they're they're just small. They just didn't have as much, enough flavor in them. Yeah. And I lost the good recipe that I had for them. <sighs> I've made meatballs like twice, and they've. I made them twice. The first time they were, it was it was perfect. It was oh my god. It first was, time I made them, they were too big. <laughs> mine were the perfect size. It was the perfect flavor, and it was. For for the boys during summer band, oh. I had. Just enough sauce from the time that we had pasta before. Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to make a meatball sub. Oh, yeah. I remember you. Yeah, I remember you. Oh. Some of the pictures of that. Yeah, turned out. So damn good, man. I lost <laughs> that recipe. Damn Wait, shit. Well, I've recently found out I don't cook well with recipes. I, ha- I have to freeform it. I have. Otherwise... There, yeah. <laughs> there. Every meal that I've done the second time has always been better. Because you freeform it. Because I know a give or take what right. I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah. You, like it's because I've done you know like I try to like watch like the recipe and like look at it and, like online or whatever. I'm like, I want to do dessert. Oh That's yeah. That's what I wanted to do. I might do. A, I, <coughs> I might do grilled cheeses. I might throw down. <laughs> in some tomato bisque or whatever. On, yeah, on a tomato bisque. My like five cheese grilled cheese, and then a dessert. Kind of I want to do the berries from um, Chef Show. Chef the movie. Chef Show, the first episode. I can't remember, but it's just like raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, some honey. Don't do that. Some mint. It looks so <laughs> simple, but with 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 a oh, with a nice whipped cream. Doll whip. It. Yeah, it's just like it. It just looks so <laughs> refreshing. I want to do it. Huh. And also, just like uh, the presentation, like the small white bowls that I have. It's like serving it's, like oranges at the end of a meal. Don't do that. <laughs> how dare you! <laughs> I, I, how dare you shoot down my dream? I have. I just want to serve that. There's and some you mandarin just, oranges, kids. You just told me I'm... <laughs> I hate you. I put whipped cream on it. I'm so... Let's get a can of whip. <laughs> <laughs> just dole and whip. I, I thought you were going to ride with me on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, I'm I just so had to, sad. I just had to come for it. I, I, haven't, I haven't just been aggressively <laughs> angry at something. So... That kind of actually hurt my feelings. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Anywho. I haven't hurt feelings in a while. <laughs> I need to hurt some feelings. That's fair. Um, <laughs> I mean, the bigger issue is Marcus has feelings. <sighs> oh, they're slowly coming. Oh, yeah. We'll right. figure it out. Uh, uh, I, I know ways to get out your feelings now. Yeah. Like my, my comment about the whole like funeral thing. That made, that made you almost cry. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, see, the, the, it, it's you got to find ways to just. Now, getting at my feelings, we don't know where those are. So, those are. I've hit you a couple times. No, I yeah, my feelings are definitely there. Um, they're just uh, they're just mis misshapen. So, yeah. Feelings are like gerrymandered. They're there. But the yeah, the lines like, are super like, all over the place. Why does it have a um, <laughs> an, an archipelago? Like why, why, like why is it? It's not just that clear feel, like the feelings wheel. It's in the wrong county. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just like San Antonio. Yeah, there's there's my feelings. No, it's, <laughs> it's why is that part of San Antonio in Austin? I don't get that. 
<laughs> what are we doing? Yeah. Uh, I feel that. Yeah. Um, what did I say to put a pin in? Uh, context. The, uh, to cont- yeah, context to find restaurants or whatever. Oh, I don't know why you put a pin in that. Um, we were talking yeah, about, like, I thought like, that was like... Like, recreate... You were talking about recreating the... Um, like, can you recreate the... Um, the context of like a home at home thing. I don't know where you're going with that, but I don't know where I was going with that either. Yeah. I don't know. That's a, uh, well, onward. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, onward. Let's talk about the movie onward. Okay. I still never saw that one. <laughs> That's all right. Anyways, you guys know who Chet Hanks is? Is it son of Tom? Son of Tom Hanks. <laughs> sure is. You know what Chet Hanks is? I do now. Man, so there are two white boys that came out with some bangers in the past two days, and good Check. golly, Miss Molly. I'm here for it. I'll be honest with you. They're the two summer jams, and it's 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 hmm. Chet Hanks. He talking about that white boy summer. Uh, uh if that's come across your timeline at yes, all, about it's all over TikTok. Yeah, about white boy summer. Well, he dropped a song about it. Wow. Chris, can you pull that song up? White Boy Summer. And then, as he's pulling that up, the other one is uh, your boy Andrew Schultz came out a song with the homie Jelly Roll. Is it on YouTube? Uh, should be, I imagine. Andrew Schultz made a song? He made a country song. How do you spell uh, his first name? Uh, C-H-E-T. Hank's White Boy Summer. Yeah, there it is. But but the Andrew Schultz song, not that not as bad as you think it is. But why the hell is Yahoo my search engine again? <laughs> See, you did that to my computer. <laughs> I did not do you it. did that to my computer. <laughs> and you yelled at me for it, and if it's happening to you, it's your fault. Maybe. Anyways. <laughs> the white boys are trying to tell us to go out and party and I'm here for it. Yeah. This summer's gonna be um... <laughs> Like we were talking, we were talking at one point uh, about like 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 white dude fun. I think dude, every, white boy fun is a different type of fun. I, I think every everyone's gonna have some white dude fun, where it's just like no like. It's not white dude fun. It's white boy fun. White boy fun. <laughs> it's different because white dude fun is like. We're gonna go throw something. Yeah, like white dude fun is like let's go throw basketball, like uh, football. What the hell? Let's go throw a football. That's white like, dude fun. Yeah. Basketball. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but white boy fun is like, let's jump off the roof of the house. Yeah. Into the above ground pool. Right. Yeah. That's white boy fun. That's not going to end well. Never ends well. <laughs> white boys love to do it. Yeah. That's, that's, that sounds like an awful idea. But it, you, you've it, had a friend that's done it. It's a lot of ideas like that. Yeah. Right. Oh. That's going to be scary. It's gonna be scary. It's gonna be it's gonna be wild <laughs> time, boy. You think you think all these nurses and doctors have had a, a tough enough time with COVID? Imagine all these white boy funds. <laughs> Woo! When they finally like just is like the song called White Boy Summer. Maybe I have no idea. When they finally just let let everyone like everyone's free, you could do whatever you want to now. Here, put the Andrew Schultz song on because I know that one for sure is 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 up on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, um. I don't know if it's on Spotify, but I know it's on YouTube. Uh, Last name, how do you spell uh, S-C-H-U-L-Z. And the song is Open Her Up. Yep, there it is. That's... It's White Boy Fun Incarnate, and I'm here for it. Mm. In a country song. Yeah, I'm not a, not a country fan, so. Mm. <laughs> Any luck? That's not country. I know. It's true. It's, it's, it's a not... comedian. <laughs> don't disrespect me. <laughs> Oh, disrespect, <laughs> bye. <laughs> you wrote Tennessee Whiskey, and you're going to call that country? That's fair. <laughs> you don't write Tennessee. You arranged I, I Arranged Tennessee Whiskey. Yeah. That that song's like, I don't think I'll ever pull that song back out. That song was so hard. <laughs> we we struggled uh, through it. Yeah, y'all struggled through it. I struggled through writing it. I struggled through teaching it. Struggled through playing it. We played it at gin, and that's all that matters. In luck with Chet Hanks. Ch- um, I'm looking for it right now. Ch- 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 Hanks. But yeah. Boy. I don't know what that is. Oh no, it's going to be, that was weird and didn't like that. <laughs> yeah. I, summer's going to be I, interesting. I don't know what this summer is going to, um, um. Uh, I've, I've seen it. People say that this summer feels like 20, 2016 summer. 
What does that yeah. mean? Yeah. What was 2016 summer? There's just something about 2016. It was just I, the year. And then 2016 year. was a great year for albums. Like, no, just I, in general. Just, I just remember just, like, just, things were just going down. I mean, like, granted, that was the summer I was, like, touring with Blue Knights, so I don't remember a lot of it. A lot of it was just... 2016 like, was Harambe year. Yeah. I just remember, that, that summer was a big summer. Shout out, Harambe. <laughs> Again. <laughs> um, no, but that was, like, that was one of the best years for al- for hip-hop albums. That was Damn. Yeah. Uh, on Kendrick, that was uh, For Your Eyes Only. Cole. Coloring Book. Coloring Book. Um... Uh, Life of Pablo, yeah. um, Travis Scott, uh, his his breakout album. Uh, uh, Goosebumps? No. Big old. Astro World. Yeah, Astro World. Um, um, yeah, I remember that. I mean, yeah, that was a big year. I think yeah. Oxymoron. Uh, uh, Schoolboy Q. Yeah, it was just like a it's gangster year for for albums. But yeah, that's, that's it's gonna it's gonna. I remember that being a big year. I don't, I don't remember. Why in particular, but uh, oh god, I just remember it's you remember something you did in the past, you're just like, oh, forgot about that memory, yeah. And here you go, like, I'll I'll, I'll cut this part out <laughs> on tour, you get sad. Yep. <laughs> I was really sad at yep. one point, like, big sad, sitting in the van, just like crying, <laughs> like, I wasn't crying at that point, um. But I texted someone from my past. I was like, I'm glad you were in my, like, I'm glad you existed in my life. And, like, I hope you're doing what, like, it's just like, oh, bud, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, that was a, oh, man. I'm seeing, like, a lot of people reacting to it, but I don't see the video or music, like, a music or anything. Google search, maybe? It's, like, straight ahead. Chet Hanks. But. It'll be, I don't know. Be I'm, I'm not super excited about the fact that I get four weeks. That's about it. <laughs> what is it called? White uh, Boy Summer. Uh, um, a Jamaican accent? That, 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 that. Rastafarian? The Jamaican. By the way, he's the only white person in the music video. Oh, no, of course, dude. And he's mad white. <laughs> what the hell is that called? The, the language they speak. Just for people who didn't know. I don't. No. What is that called? Like, can you look that up? What is uh, uh, what language does Jamaican speak? Speak English. No, well, the uh, pigeon. Is that what it is? No, that's not it. They they speak like a like a a variation of of English. Well, yeah, it's like a dialect where they you know they dialect. Say, that's what I'm looking they for. They say like I instead of um. Oh no, they they don't say the, they don't say I. What? Um, just look it up. Look it up the the language. Like Jamaican dialects, like whatever. What is the Jamaican dialect? Sure. Sure. They they, they don't say me or, or language, they... whatever. Jamaican pat patois. 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 Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I've heard of that now. Yeah, patois. Yeah. Forrest Gump's son is uh, <laughs> singing in patois. Movies trash. White boy <laughs> summer. I'm here for it. You kicking the camera, son? Shake it. Come on, man. It's the shaky cam episode. <laughs> Shake it. We're doing this thing. Watch uh, yourself. Doing like the uh, Cloverfield movies. Like oh, God. Shake cam. <laughs> never watched that one. Cloverfield? Yeah, never seen oh. that. I feel like I have, I just don't remember. Oh, it's like, that was like my introduction to like horror movies. Really? Yeah, because I, I didn't know what it was. Which is like their intent. They were like, oh yeah, we just found this movie. We don't know what it is. It's just a fun people having a party. And then aliens attack. And uh, like it's, yeah. it's a good time. Good time. I never saw the uh, the other one either. Uh, Tim Cloverfield Lane. Oh, that one. Paradox. <laughs> um, the one with all the celebrities. Oh, I know uh, what you're talking about. Uh, it's like all the celebrities and then like and the hell world. breaks loose on the, the earth. Oh, the, um, Seth Rogen, Seth Rogen, J- James uh, Franco, uh, uh, Andy like, Samberg. All the big. Uh, is it into the world? Yeah, look it up, please. I think it's into the world. You know this it? is the end. This is the end. This American the ap- end. Ap- apocalyptic comedy film written, directed, and produced by Seth Rogen. Yeah. yeah I, you want to talk about the glow up? Seth Rogen, an attractive ass man. <laughs> 
Seth Rogen still looks goofy to me. He, he, he is the best looking type of white guy <laughs> of that type of white guy. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like he's, say, you can't, he's, he's first so place for that like goofy looking Nerdy white looking dude. Jew guy. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's Jewish. Like, there's no. There's I thought you were about to stuff on best looking white guy. I was like, yeah, I just wasn't expecting you to. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. No. Um, seen Chris Hemsworth. Chris Evans. Yeah. He's in first place. I can't think of a more attractive dude in that lane of white boy. <laughs> that just reminds me of the. Uh, there's this debate going on on TikTok now of. Uh, I hate girls talking. How many times you whatever, reference TikTok? Whatever, I don't care. You I'm used to be an intellectual it. man. I, I am still an intellectual I man. I refuse to believe it. <laughs> TikTok is just a meme. It is it's, a meme. It's a meme place. But uh, wow. girls talking about um, guys that are um, ugly hot. Mm, don't like that. Or is this like hot and ugly? <laughs> it's like it's like uh, like uh, like you're supposed to be hot, but now. This is like, like, like you're, you're Michael Sarah's. You're like, you're like, you're ugly, but also, <laughs> I don't know what it means. But Seth Rogen is very much on the ugly hot thing, um, where it's like, you're just a weird, goofy looking, like dude. Um, He's attractive. All of his, all of his photo ops are like, goddamn. And <laughs> with his like suit and stuff. Hell like, yeah, man. The yeah. Versace, the the satin. Sand shirts, damn boy. Have you seen his? You gotta, uh, I turned that off though. I don't know why it's making sound. I turned it off. Say it's not mine. I don't ever have mine on. Turned it off. Whatever. It'll. You're a liar. Fun. It'll be fun. I did. I turned it off on there. No, they're like they're texting me, but um, uh, what am I? What are we talking about? Uh, Seth Rogen. Um, have you seen his pottery? Like, no. Do you follow him on Instagram? No. You should follow him on Instagram. He makes, like, amazing pottery. Super dope pottery? Yeah. Hell like, yeah. He just, he's just a guy that got really into pottery, I guess. I was like, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> kind of makes me want to get into pottery. I was like, hmm. I want to kill him. <laughs> that'd be dope. Uh, I would, that's a, that would be a nice hobby. Like to, I feel like that's a hobby I would have in retirement. I wonder if you could double up a kiln for a pizza oven. I don't. Can you look up the temperature of a kiln? Because if it's if it's over five hundred, that's gonna burn your pizza. Now some pizza ovens go to eight hundred. Eight hundred? Oof. The the one from um, Chef Show, Ugly Delicious. Oh I really? Yeah. The the the. On the oh one. yeah. That was like nine hundred. Oh yeah, those, those K- are K I L N. Okay, that's what I thought, but yeah. I don't want to spell it wrong. Yeah, those like the, the, it, those big old brick ones. Yeah, yeah those things yeah, will yeah. those things will cook your pizza like oh, go, bro. Thirty yeah. seconds. Uh, you ain't gonna be able to cook a pizza in that. No. It, if you maybe put it in for two seconds. Whoop. Eighteen hundred to twenty four hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, kilns are gonna get um, kind of. Do you have to cook the pottery at that? High of heat, or could you just leave it leave it in longer? I think so. Otherwise, it'll crack. I think. Really? I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I don't. I'm not. Any artist that's been in, listening to this the all the way game. through this episode, let us know. <laughs> like, can you can you bake pottery at a different temperatures? I'm sure you can. Like, because all you're doing is just drying it out. So, yeah. Um, it just take a like a night instead of like a couple hours. It says if it's. Uh, cooked higher than 1900, it'll start to deform and melt. Wow. Makes sense. That makes sense. So then... I don't know about... If we're at 900... Oh, don't, 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 don't do math. <laughs> don't, don't... Just breathing there <laughs> half as long. <laughs> twice as long. <laughs> My pillow is the minimum... It sounds like putting something in the oven at 200 degrees and saying... Put it in there for an hour. It'll be it'll, yeah. It'll cook the same. <laughs> no, <well. laughs> it might. Hopefully, I don't know. We get some very runny cheese. I get you know we got degrees in bro science. It says most soft wood kilns. I guess it's for wood. Yeah, it's for wood, not for mm. pottery. You got to make things hot uh, to make things dry. What is the men to which of a? What does that mean? That's a weird sentence. I don't know. Sentences are fun. 
I like sentences. I don't know what it means, but I, I like it. <laughs> don't know what it means, but I like it. You ever seen The History of the World? That, uh, not, that classic 24 minute video? I think so. I think so. You're not doing your, if you're not doing your, your, your yearly watching of that video. Is that from Ewell's World? No. No? No. That's my go to. It's a, I it, love that. It's Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Ugh. Is that the, uh, is, 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 that's the, okay. Okay. Yeah. This is no. the earth. <laughs> no, no, this one's. Can you look that up? Is that still on the, it's gotta be on the internet, right? Maybe. What is that? Uh, what was the title of that? I don't remember. It, to it, look it was, up. Uh, that was like e, old YouTube. Yeah. yeah, yeah. E-bombs. E-B-A-U-M-S. World. Have you seen uh, the history of the entire world? Is that the one you're talking about? Yeah. Uh, Bill Wirtz. Yeah. It's, it's like 24 minutes long. But yeah. I, well, I just. <laughs> but, history but it, of the world, I guess. Yeah. I just played it like it's 20 minutes. But. Yeah. I've seen a bunch of his videos. I didn't realize he had this long boy. Oh, that's right. That's coming out. We need to go see that, boys. Yeah, he's got that one in the history of Japan. In those oh, videos. yeah. Oh, they're both like amazing. It's like you learn everything <laughs> about the history of Japan. And they're just like, yeah, now I know about the Shinto Empire. Like, <laughs> All right. Yeah. He's actually an amazing musician, too, which is hilarious. But he does I enjoy his, his yeah. yeah those are the ones that I've, that I've seen <laughs> there's one of him like it's like riding a horse it's so dumb it's so goofy oh it's so dumb but it's hilarious it's awesome um uh TV wanna get into that sure or, I yeah. mean we've been doing a basically a synopsis of Winter Soldier do you wanna hear the the motorcycle story first oh yeah oh yeah yeah so no <laughs> <laughs> but alright <laughs> So I was on my way home from work today with my dad, and I didn't, like, see the actual thing happen, but so right before you get to my house, there's the intersection off the uh, I-14, the yep. highway, and so the guy on the motorcycle was coming off the access road going down. He There's no stop sign his way. Mm. The truck is coming under the bridge going straight this way. Mm. He's got a stop sign. He said he looked and... He looked and he didn't see him or whatever, but apparently he pulls out and clips the backside of the, the motorcycle and we were behind the truck and I'm on my phone, so I didn't see it happen, but I heard my dad was like, oh, whatever. Yeah. And so I look up and I see the last flip of the motorcycle Whew. go over like before it stops. And I look over, the guy is like sitting there or whatever and the truck pulls over, we pull over, we make sure we get out and... Surprisingly, he was okay. Like, wow. the only thing that we saw when we were there was he had some blood coming out, like, in between, like, his pinky and his ring finger, which it wasn't even a lot. It was, like, bubbling up a little bit. But, yeah. And then his entire backside of his, I think it was his left arm, was red, and then it was, like, purple around his elbow. Sure. So he might have broken his elbow, but, yeah. like, did with the adrenaline, he didn't feel it yet. Yeah. But surprisingly he was able to walk he was able to do everything he was fine which is really lucky and the guy was talking about it and he said yeah it's not my first rodeo he said i knew what to do or whatever so he also said he just bought the bike and i was like damn <sighs> but Oof. also because it was like pouring down rain today i had to close the gate at work while it was pouring down rain so my shirt got soaked Attaboy. and my dad got has cloth seats in his truck and i don't want to like soak his seats up so i, I had my shirt off and <laughs> <laughs> it sounds it sounds weird but then the, like the accident happened and so like my shirt was just like chilling on the ground so i grabbed it and i was like i can use this if he like is bleeding really bad yeah. or whatever so it's kind of good guy chris come to the rescue yeah but then i also ripped my pants at work so i had a, a giant <laughs> hole on my pants don't work for you <laughs> bro you had a day son i didn't even know the hole was there apparently the hole was out there when i went to work yeah. and then I didn't notice it, and then somebody says something. I was like, oh, well, yeah. I, mean, I can't do anything about it now. And then I went to go yep. sit down on a bucket, <laughs> went to go stand up on the truck to put a ladder away, and then it ripped <laughs> all the way down past my leg. Oh, boy. Yeah, so that's why that's you don't rough. buy Walmart pants. That's fair. <laughs> uh, Gotta that, get them good jeans. That reminds, I saw a video today of someone, um, there was a, uh, it was like a car chase 
like through like a kind of like a like resident not residential but like a not like highway but like kind of a you know intersection but a basic yeah. basic intersection and um the the car that was getting chased they were like pulling around this gas station and there was a truck oh i saw that that, that, that was um coming so the, the the gas station's over here they pull around okay and they try to come forward the truck sees that all this stuff is happening and there's like police cars like, all yeah. the way, like trying to pursue them the, and the the truck goes well i'm gonna go ahead and stop this pulls forward <laughs> boom jesus i was like that's a move yeah and there's like power move 20 30 cops following this truck yeah like yeah. like the whole town was after this man and they got hit by that truck i mean that's a good way to stop him i guess yeah Just put up <laughs> put a put a simi in front of him that'll stop him yeah. Very. It's just that guy's really lucky though that like that was all that happened yeah because i mean i didn't like see it happen but i saw like the the motorcycle did flips i don't know if he was on it at the time when it flipped but yeah yeah the guy in the truck said he like looked and he didn't see him but I don't think he was actually paying attention He's because I think right. the motorcycle was in its two lane access road. I think he was in the far lane. Mm. And okay. I don't know about you, but when I go through a highway intersection, I look while I'm going through the intersection. Yeah. Right. And if he would have been looking, he could have stopped before he clipped it back into the motorcycle. So. Stressful. Like I said, it's a good thing he's all right, but. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, and he was also said he was on his way home from San Marcos. Yeah, well, shit. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Well, I won't be riding my bike for a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus, just feel some bad juju. God mm. bless. Anyways. So we're talking uh, Captain... Or not... <laughs> I keep going to Captain... No, it's not. Uh, Falcon Cap- Winter Soldier. Yeah. Um, what do you think? So what uh, What episode are we on? We're on four. four? Five just, comes out tomorrow. We just watched for episode four. Yeah. Again. Sorry, people. We have lives. We cannot do day before, day after episodes. Yeah. It blows my mind. People, uh, people get like... Oh, oh yeah. People, so will wait, day of. people will wait until it releases, watch it, and then like an hour later we'll have a video out. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know how... They're, they're doing it at like 4, 4 a.m. in the morning. I'm like, dude. That's wild. The dedication. But I mean, some, yeah, some Shout people, out to them. Yeah. Some people, that's like your, that's your gig. Yeah. I mean, like I, I, well, one of the, one of the podcasters I listen to, he, um, like his gig is like, you know, doing the movie reviews and the, um, all that stuff. And he's like, yeah, I get a write off for all of my, um, all of my subscription services. I was like, oh, oh, he just watches content for free now. Like that's his like, that's, badass. that's his like whole, um, since that's his job. Like, yeah. Gets a tax write off for it. I'm like, oh, it makes makes sense. Yeah, people will stay up <laughs> to watch a to watch a uh, a show. Just so with something like that, man. I mean, it, it it goes with with any any gig in that nature of just like you have to at some point forfeit the normal life. Yeah, and dive into that before you have. A big enough pool to dive into. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, where you, you can only get so much exposure and like quality of oh, yeah. your art form while still working your bar gig or what have you. I mean, like the the guy, like his name is Mister Sunday Movies. He's a big YouTuber. He uh, YouTuber podcaster. Um, but he like was a teacher for a while. Damn, and then he was like just doing movie reviews and podcasts and stuff like that and eventually you're just like all right let's go full into this yeah. and i'm like whoa um it'd be cool but uh no, i wouldn't want to do that i don't i don't want to watch content that badly I, I like watching content but which i had like a very like not content week this week i just wasn't watching movies i feel that me. i've been i just kind of been re-watching the letter kenny I haven't watched to anything new lately I, uh stiff socks made me do it but uh, they talked about it's on Netflix there's a show sentence. called uh, Formula One. I meant um, to start watching that. It's it's pretty interesting. Like I'm like decently into cars, and I feel I think Formula One's more interesting than NASCAR. Oh yeah, yeah no, absolutely. And I was like, I'll give it a shot. And like I knew there was behind the scenes stuff, but I didn't realize how much like drama there was behind the scenes. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah I've got some friends that are big into Formula One. And, uh, 
I mean, it's it's whatever for me, but you know, it's definitely a more um, there's more that goes into that than just like big car go fast. <laughs> like that, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's kind of NASCAR. I mean, NASCAR like there's doing technicality student and like stuff like that, but a lot of it's just kind of what like, I have learned is like more. NASCAR is actually a little bit more impressive because everybody's riding the same car. And oh. Formula One. The dude in first place usually just has the best car. Uh, like like most of the body styles are like the same, but engine and yeah. parts are all oh, yeah custom or whatever. I think mm-hmm. I think Mercedes, the yeah. Mercedes car is the number one. Yeah. yeah, and and like, it, what's weird is that on the Mercedes team, the best driver is in like the third car, and like the like the actual like best yeah. drivers in third car, but they have somebody else driving the best car just formula wait now formula one that's not i'm the okay i'm like i'm putting together drag racing and formula one no 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 not definitely not say, yeah i know formula one's like the um i think it was like the iron man scene drag, drag, yes drag, yes that's yeah. formula one. drag racing is a, a quarter mile yeah yeah that, that quarter mile straight away formula <laughs> one is all the best that doesn't seem like a 300 mile per hour uh, I I watched like a little bit of like drag racing, like uh you know, yeah. I was like, I don't get how people do this all day. It's terrifying. <laughs> like drag race, I would rather be a Formula One driver than a drag racer. Well, like, really? No. Yeah. No, absolutely. It's just a straight line drag racing. No, you just hit the gas. <laughs> you just doesn't always work that way. I mean, yeah, but Formula One, you're with yeah, well, twenty eight other people zooming like you're... like three hundred miles an hour. You hit. Uh, twenty twenty two other people. I think. Yeah. There's no, yeah. That's what's also wild. It's like the most. It's the smallest professional class in all of like sports professionals. Oh. Like there's only yeah. like I think it's sort of, double check a certain amount that. of there. Yeah, there's drivers. like twenty two period. Mm. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like twenty two for America. Yeah. It's like worldwide. It. <laughs> there's like. 20 some odd Formula One racers. 20. 20. 20. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, dude. 20 drivers, 10 teams. Hmm. There's a show I started watching on a, on a HBO Max. It's called Made for Love. Um, I heard about that one. It's really, really good. Like, it's about this um, girl who marries this guy, like, marries a tech, like, entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. And he, um, but they, he puts a chip in her head. That um, eventually will connect them, like to where he can see what she sees. Dicey. Kind of ruins. Like, it's a holding of like, we want to get rid of deceit in relationships. We want everything to be like totally. Jeez. We want everything to be like totally like like. No, that's too much. So that's weird. Yeah. Kristen Mylody. It's got uh, the mother from How I Met Your Mother. Mm. Um, ah, I love her. Yeah, it's got. Um, Ugh, I love she her plays so much. younger in that. It doesn't work. I'm like, you're not, you're not 28. <laughs> you can't. That's like, right. Like, you're not, you're not 28. You were 28 seven years ago. But. Yeah. Can you watch like Formula One like on huh? TV? I'm pretty sure it's on like yeah. Like, okay. Not ESPN. Yeah, apparently the ESPN like, season already started in at the end of March. Yeah. For this year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll say I know. Yeah. There's no, it's Circuit of the Americas, man. Here in Austin. Oh really? Yeah. You never been to that track? Never heard about that track? Mm-mm. Yeah. That's yeah, like a legit track. They're doing Formula One there? Mm-hmm. I bet those tics- tickets are expensive, though. Stupid expensive! Because they were also talking about, like, the budgets of the teams, and they're like, oh. some teams get, like, a high budget, and some teams have, like, a lower budget, so they're, like, at a disadvantage. And I was like, okay. Like, and like that, the high teams are, like, $336 million. Or, no, $536 million. <laughs> The low teams are $136 million. Like, yeah. And that's and that's what that's the weird thing that's about a Formula low budget? One. Yeah. Let's yeah. Say low. And, and and that's and you know, you talk about professional basketball players and professional football players and them getting paid too much money, but like <laughs> no, there's no but like there's a yeah. salary cap. Like right. within each team you have yeah. three hundred million dollars to pay all your players. It's however much your team, like however much your team and your public is willing to pay. I think the public is willing to pay more into. Um, yeah. Not the public in se- itself, but like the, like the. Invest. 
Yeah, like the, 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 the investment of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then, but with Formula One, it's just like Mercedes. Is it, yeah. It gets more money, yeah. so then it's they're like able Mercedes to funnel more Ferrari. money. They're able to f- funnel more money into their Mercedes Formula One team. Right. Therefore, the Formula One team being having more money, therefore having more tech, therefore having better cars, and being better. Oof. So it's it, yeah, it's 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 a weird. It's a weird thing where it's like he's a really good driver, but he might not be the actual best. Right. It's like, but she just has the most. Yeah, he just he mo- he's on the Mercedes team, so <laughs> he has the best cars. So then he is the best. Oh, that's so strange, man. It's a, yeah. I, I've been wanting to get into that show for that reason. See and see how they it's explain it's it. cool. It's interesting seeing. Especially seeing like whenever two people are like on the same team racing, yeah. there's been a lot of drama between that. And, yeah, yeah. Two yeah. Dudes. I've, I've always been confused on like how that works with like racing teams. It's like well, because technically you're racing for a team to win for the team, but a lot of yeah. people are racing to like have their name on the title. Yeah. So, oh. Like whenever they like put out the list of like who placed what, it's not the person's name; it's the team's name. Yeah. N- unlike NASCAR. Yeah, so it's, it's it's like Mercedes, Ferrari, Ferrari, Mercedes, so and so. I I, 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 I can't even remember the that other. Yeah, so Red Bull. Ass. Oh, that must look so weird. Just like seeing like the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's yeah. It's a strange. It's a strange gig. Hmm. Real strange gig. Formula but I like one. it. Anywho, I like how we're talking about Winter Soldier, and then. Oh yeah. <laughs> Back to it. Talk, yeah. Um... <laughs> Are we are we giving like spoiler spoilers? Are we, it's been uh, a week. Next episode comes out tomorrow. I think we're good. I've, and then this episode comes out next on Monday. Monday. Yeah, Monday so like, uh, I think are we yeah. going to drop Dway's episode? It might be Saturday, if okay. What's Just because it it took. Do you want to drop Saturday or would you rather drop that one on Monday? It, it doesn't matter. I mean, we've it's been a minute. It's been a minute. Yeah. It took like three hours to download everything off Luke Drive yesterday. So, I want to try one more the next time. Uh, multicam on Google yeah, we need to itself it on Google. and see how. If not, what I can do is just like take the video here and just like clip where it's like zoomed in on y'all and then just like make copy that. If that makes sense. So, like, make like yeah. three. So like I have this recording here that yes. I'm recording right now, and then oh, take then that just file. zoom in. And there's one block, yeah, one block, and then just the copy side. that two times, and then have one clip of like zoomed in on him and one clip zoomed in on you. Oh yeah, do it's that. It's definitely like, easier to do. Yeah, yeah. Because then I won't have to sync everything. Why have we been doing that? Uh, just time. <laughs> yeah, it no, that's fair. Takes time, man. Because whenever I understand, it takes yeah. time. But like but when I'm, that, when I'm, that like even in my head, I'm just like, yo, no, that's much much faster. When I'm, I don't understand how it works. But when it I'm makes here, sense. I'm able to just like boop, and then it's like pop in all the stuff that I add, yeah. and then export. But with that, I have to like actually watch the whole thing. Yeah, that's fair. I need you to teach me how to do the thing so I can cut clip myself. Oh, like clip, cut, cut. Dude, to get the get the clips to for the social medias. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, need you to teach me how to do that on the, clip it on the yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so so Winter Soldier on the Falcon, yeah, or the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, <laughs> the black guy and the other dude. Um, I mean, so okay, so since we're doing spoilers, like John Walker killed someone, um, hard, <laughs> yeah, hard, <laughs> not even <Yeah>. just like. <laughs> Because he, he was killing someone, and Steve's killed people before, too. Yeah. But Steve didn't go out in the... Uh, public. In the public, and while the guy was like, no, don't kill me. Kill Yeet. him. <laughs> yeah. Decapitated him. Um, Did he decapitate him? Yeah. It's implied. Uh, <laughs> I thought he cut him in half. I don't know why I thought he cut him in half. No, I, that's too brutal. I thought he just, like, pounded it on his chest to where it killed him. I thought it was an assumed decapitation, but... It's all... Well, uh, to me, I feel like he would have decapitated him in the first go. Yeah. Dude. Well, oh, yeah. The, the the shield has different strength. Like, depending on what it what they want it to do. It can cut into a tree, or it can just, like, ding off of someone. Well, I think it has <laughs> to do with, like, the strength of the person, too. Yeah, like, how hard you throw it, yeah. Like, Cap or Steve 
of throwing the shield would like bounce off a concrete wall. Who threw the shield and it went into the concrete yeah. wall? Right. And I don't know. I think the somebody I saw somewhere. I didn't watch the video, but it was like that the serum that he took is stronger than Steve's, which makes sense. I mean, yeah. technology yeah, advancing yeah. and stuff, but. Yeah, it was, weird. it was it was an interesting episode, man. I mean, the fact that he now like, now like has the super serum. That's what scares me about the super serum. Like in like a real world like context, it's like man, not everyone should have that. Nope. You get some real monsters from. And granted, like they, they, they made a really good moment of like man. Imagine if we like had the super serum like whenever they were like saving people. Yeah, when they, mm-hmm. they were in Afghanistan. Right. Would have saved so many other people. Right. And it's like, it's like, oh, I kind of. In that context, yes. Right. But in where we're at right but you now. Yeah, mo- if you, you could like, be a monster once you get give it, it to though. somebody and then also take it away. Yeah. That That'd would be, be ideal. Like when they know? go off, you can. Here, now you yeah. can kill people. There's actually a show about that. It's called Power. That they like. Really? You, you can give superpowers to someone for like five minutes. Oh, is it a Netflix movie? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. watch that. Yeah. Mm. You don't know what the power is. You just take the pill and then boop. Get power for a little bit. But yeah, he um, took it, and now he's. Yeah, I, I'm people. interested to see how 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 that plays out. Um, I think it's gonna end badly. Not gonna end good. Apparently, the director said he's most excited for everybody to see episode five, which comes out tomorrow. Mm. So, I guess it's the most intense or whatever. I don't know. See, I'm I hoping that's when they beat him up and take it, take the shield back. But I imagine. I think that that show is so based on. Um, like that last shot of just him like standing with the blood on the shield, that show is so based on shots to me. It is. Like it's so There's ba- a lot of stills. Like it's very comic booky in that way. Yeah. It's like we just kinda of, like there's like action that gets up into that stuff, but a lot of it's kind of based on like look. Like, oh, you don't like that? No, I it's not that I don't like it, because I I'm a I I just feel like it doesn't. Um, not every shot is like, like, like worn. It's not what Marvel has been. Yeah, like Marvel has felt like made it to where it feels like it could be something real. Yeah, like yeah. something that happens, and then like whereas like the DC movies, it's like oh, this is this is never gonna happen. This is definitely right. just a superhero movie. Well, that's a that's a little disingenuous. WandaVision was. Didn't make any sense. Um, I know. Well, that's... I'm tying <laughs> you know that saying? into it as well. But the TV well, shows, I mean, it is different because they have to stretch it out, but. I think. I think it, it like serves its place for that specific. I don't think you could get it away with a different. Um, like storyline. Oh, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. Like, I think yeah. this is the only storyline that you're able to do that with where it is comic book esque. Right. Where even the fight scenes, like. The way they're depicted and the the way they're they're shot, yeah. it just like, you, it looks like looks like comic book. Yeah. I don't know. I, I like I like that because it is it is very it's true. yeah, like it it feels each different series is shot in a in a one of a kind kind of way. Well, yeah, that's one thing that's like cool is that like if I, I think Marvel is finally starting to look a little hopefully. It's gonna start looking a little different. Yeah. It's like if you kind of look at all the Marvel movies like in a row, yeah, yeah, they yeah, all yeah. kind of look the same. Exactly. <laughs> After and, a while, it's like, oh. Boy. And that's what I'm saying. I think they're taking advantage of the fact that they're TV series, and that they, I mean, they know that they have an audience, so they can yeah. be a little bit more more dicey with, uh, with how they approach things. So yeah. I'm here for it. Shout out to, uh, uh, God bless. I can't remember her name. The the door melange, like the, the door uh, melange, yeah, the um, Okoye and, uh, dude, that was a gangster line. The the oh. uh, door melange have jurisdiction where the door melange, melange are. Yeah, yeah. it's like ho oh. ho. Yeah, <laughs> I could only imagine how different this would be uh, if, if T'Challa with, was in there. If T'Challa, uh, he would have stolen that scene too much. Like, he would have stolen the uh, air from that too much. I think. Yeah, I don't know if he actually would have been in that because I feel like 
like you said, it would yeah, have I taken think, away yeah, from. He's, I think. Imagine him fighting like John, like John Walker. Well, that would that would like. Well, yeah. what I, what I think <laughs> would would have been the right move is have T'Challa be the in episode three. Like you Just have the one who shows up, yeah. the one that shows up, and then you have. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, the yeah, normal yeah. Ajay, like, okay. come and, and try to pick him up. And then he's like, oh, y'all didn't get him? All right. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then he comes through. I think yeah. that'd be... Gangster. I mean, like, I, the... I like the you know, idea of, like, moving the movie characters and the TV characters, like, together. Yeah. Like, the fact that they're... Um, but it also kind of, like, makes the... Uh, the appearance of Black Panther not as like epic anymore. You know what I mean? Fair. That's fair. Like, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, granted, that's what Marvel's trying to do. They're trying to make everything like, you know, continuous and it's all Very together. clear universe, yeah. Uh, very clear together, but it just looks like, I'm like, oh. I do get what you mean though about that because I, I have a very unpopular opinion. Avengers Age of Ultron is way better than Avengers the first one. Because Avengers is very... The first one is very comic booky, superhero, space yeah. battle thing. Avengers: Age of Ultron is a lot more about their personal problems within themselves and their own conflicts, and how they have to like overcome that to be able to like be a team to be able to do all that. And like Tony and is uh, scared of letting everybody down creates Ultron. Oh yeah. And everything, and I think Ultron is honestly one of the best villains in my opinion, but. I don't know. Like I said, I have a very unpopular opinion about all that, but so it leaves me heated, it's but <laughs> also the way Avengers was filmed compared to Avengers: Age of Ultron is just there's a lot of things that I could go into that. Well, yeah, like uh, yeah, Avengers, yeah. The way you said that just now, like yeah, that makes sense. I get what you're saying. Like the like, Avengers, I haven't seen either of them in such a long time. It's hard for me to form- formulate an opinion. And I think another thing is like whenever Ultron first came out. Everybody's like, oh, it was, a lot of people said it was trash. Yeah. And then Let's now we're, <laughs> what, six years after that now? Six, seven years, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, 2015, And yeah. Age of Ultron set up basically everything that the MCU that happened yeah, afterwards. Yeah, as far as like the um, the implications of the MCU, like Ultron was the kind of crux of all that. Zemo was because of that, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff is based on. So then you go back and you're like, oh, oh, oh. like Tony says, uh, one division. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> talk about Endgame, whatever in it. Yeah. I don't know if y'all remember that scene. Well, okay. Well, yeah. See, that's the that's the, sorry, <laughs> that's the part of uh, Ultra, Age of Ultron that I don't like is the fact that they set up, they set up Endgame or they set up Infinity War for a lot of it. It's like literally Thor goes off for like ten minutes of that movie just to have a vision about. Infinity Stones. It's like, yeah. <laughs> why did we have to do that in this movie? <laughs> That's, yeah, I, to I need that. to rewatch it because I, I, I'm very loosely remembering this stuff. Yeah, it's just a shirtless cave scene of him. <laughs> it. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I mean, a lot of it had to do with Scarlet Witch like messing with his head and everything. Right, yeah. Because it's like Thor's, uh, I don't know what the word is, but he's like scared of... He's doesn't feel like he's the one who should be in power, but he is. And then, yeah. like at the end of Endgame, he realizes he's not. That's not where he's supposed to be. That's why he gives his yeah. authority away to whatever her name is. I don't Val- remember. Valkyrie. Valkyrie. Yeah. Shut up, Valkyrie. It's gonna be such a oh man. I'm not ready for like Thor: Love and Thunder. I'm not ready for like ten years down the line. Oh, well, it's gonna be. I'm gonna confusing. be so exhausted. Like I'm gonna be 34 and just not want to like watch comic book movies. It's gonna be confusing. There's gonna be hell. so much like lore and history, yeah. and like they're gonna do Young Avengers and just like which they set up another Young Avenger in uh, in uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Really? Yeah. Um, so Isaiah Bradley, the uh, old Captain America, the old Black Captain. Uh, yeah. Um, his son is supposed to be Patriot, another Young Avenger. Oh. So him. Uh, Clint's not Clint's daughter, but Clint's n- new trainee, it's supposed to be a young Avenger. Um, Ironheart. Um, who else is there? Uh, Miss Marvel. They're sp- set about all of them for like a, a young Avengers team. But like that's gonna happen in like six, seven years. Yeah, I'm not. It's gonna be so much going on. Spider Man's gonna lead the whole thing. I'm just gonna be like tired. Hey, Spider Man Far From Home comes out. Yeah, this year. 
I'm so Apparently tired. They just they just finished filming like last week or something like that. Damn. Oh, and there was rumors about um, the Sam Raimi, like the old the uh, the Tobey Maguire Spider Man um, Sam Raimi. They're gonna. Uh, they, there was rumors of them doing a fourth. Mm. There's rumors now of like. We should. Cause they, they, they have plans for a fourth, so they were like, "Let's just, let's do a fourth. Bring back my boy Toby. Yeah. But yeah, that that show is um, Falcon is Falcon and Soldier is very. There was a point though where slow. I thought he might not take it, like the, the way he was talking about it and everything. Talking about how like it like enhances like you like yourself. And yeah. Like, right. He had that conflict of like if he was actually a good person or not. What was the question they asked in that show? Like was like if you had the opportunity yeah, if, to take it. If you it, had the opportunity, would you? Oh yeah. <laughs> if you had the opportunity to take it, would you? Because I know my answer. That's a hard no. I was gonna say, oh well, way to ruin that game. I was gonna say five, six, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. Uh, but really hard no. Yeah, hard no. If they offered it to me, I'd be like, I am not. Uh, it's not that I'm like uncorruptible enough, but like, I no. Okay, are you taking it in John Walker's standpoint or Carly Montu or however you say her last name? Oh, like okay, so like, like are you an idol or are you just a normal person? I think I'm just a normal person. Yeah, no. Because if it's normal person, I'm going yes. If it's you have expectations, I'm going no. Oh yeah, I mean because yeah, I guess the. To me, like, I would feel the expectation as soon as I took it. Yeah. Be like, well, I'm a super soldier now. No, I'm No, I would just hide it. I (laughs) I need to go ahead and... Time um, comes, I'm like, oh, you're being a bad person? (laughs) Yeah. Start running and do the fast, like, (laughs) sprint Bucky can do. He's like, I'm going to run faster than a truck. Start running the Olympics. Be like, how's this little 5'6 kid doing? (laughs) (laughs) Jump. (laughs) Jump. I don't know. No, I would take it. Why don't we joke? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Give it to me, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle. It. I just couldn't handle the stress of it, man. Like it'd be like too much. But to, um, like the thing is, like, what stress would there be? It's a Superman problem. I think if you like, if you were Superman, like, I would feel the need to save everyone. Yeah, I already feel that need. So give me powers to make it better. <laughs> so <good. laughs> help, help your boy out. <laughs> well, it, it, I guess it's this, this, the, the end part of that is the guilt part of it. It's like, hey, you, you tried to save everyone, but you couldn't. And you'd have to go through that moment of like, I can't save everyone. Now, like as a person, I can be like, okay, I cannot save everyone. But in the, in the context of being a super soldier, I would be like. No, I feel like I would still <sighs> be like, I know I can't save everybody, but I don't know. I can at least protect those that are close. Yeah. I mean, you do, you definitely get do get a wider range as far as people you yeah, can not nah, Pump me up, Doug. Let's go. <laughs> you ready to bend some, bend Hell some yes, steel? Hell <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember when they were, like, showing the episode or whatever. Because they didn't show him take it. They just, like, yeah. showed him, like, start fighting. And then he bent the steel. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> I was, like, because he didn't really do anything that was, like, super, like, super soldier Esque until he bent the steel, and yeah. I remember like talking to me. I was like, "Oh, did he take it or not?" But uh, like, and, and then I, he did I, that. I was like, "Oh, I didn't even think he took it." Oh, it, like it, when he first like bent that bar, I was just like, "That's not a person thing." <laughs> like you can't. <laughs> Wait, no, I don't think that's the. First. I think he threw the shield into the wall. That was um, the first thing. Yeah, and you because I was like, "Oh, yep, that <laughs> normal person could not do that." <laughs> The Look, juice is loose. Mm, oh, no. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Different superpower. Dur- <laughs> what? what? <laughs> the power of avoiding arrest. Uh, <laughs> that's that Ford Bronco stuff. Um, <laughs> the year was 1994. I was one years old. <laughs> uh, OJ had just run <laughs> for, for, for 148 yards. Uh, uh, now, dude, is it... How many more episodes in it? Four? There's six episodes, so two more. Six episodes, two more. Oh, it's only six episodes? Yeah. Oh, man. Well, damn. <laughs> Short. It's going to end hard, bro. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh yeah, but like so that's what I'm saying, dude. In six episodes, you know what I'm saying? Oof. The 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 Minaj, not Minaj. Uh, Do you think? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What are they called? That was too funny. Yeah. Um, the 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 flag smashers? No. The the Dora Milaje. Dora Milaje. <laughs> <laughs> like that sets up episode five perfectly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, right. like Dormelage come through. Yeah. Can't can't hold Zemo down, and then Black Panther rolls up and is like, I still don't know. <laughs> hey, yo, Doug. I still don't know who's the um. Like, what's the? Problem? I don't know what the play is. I'm interested. Like, I, 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 I thought know. it was gonna be eight episodes. Well, like, I don't know what the who who are we? F- I know they're fighting the flag smashers and trying to keep them from like. Being terrorists? Because they're, they're behind the cause, but they're not, like he said, they're, he's okay, with, he like gets the cause, but he doesn't get with how they're doing it. Right, like, yeah. they, they're supposed to steal the shield, and, a lot's supposed to happen, <laughs> like, in the next, yeah. like, two episodes. So this like, episode's gonna be super dense. Well, I think now that John Walker did what he did, there's gonna be a lot of press from uh, the press, the government, yeah. the people. And then, oh, I feel like they're just going to swoop in and take it from him. Yeah, a lot, a lot's got to go down in the next uh, two episodes. and they, they, they were talking about season two, like in some, I think it was a Hollywood Reporter. Like, they're, like they better do a season two, because a lot's supposed to happen in this universe. That Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to wrap it up in two episodes. Um, which, you know, it's not supposed to. It's not supposed to wrap up and. But WandaVision kind of wrapped things up. I mean, granted, they did it poorly, but, like, they kind of wrapped everything up in a yeah. nice bow. Like, yeah. I kind of wish they would have spread it out a little bit more, though. Oh, yeah. They, they did it in, like, one episode. Yeah, there's, well... So it throws, the throw fire, and then eventually the fire is like, all right, cool, we, we're done. We, She's no longer fire-powered anymore. Yeah. Very um, strange. Very the freaking White Vision just up and out of there. Yeah, like, all that, it's just... All that stuff was, they could have done a whole series on. I was really hoping that, like, whenever, like, Vision was, like, disappearing, that he would have, like, White Vision would have been left there. Mm. So, that would have like, been a gangster. So, she, like, she still would have had Vision. That would have been a cool way to end it, but, I don't know. That could have done a whole Or thing. she's walking out the house and he, like, floats down. Yeah. Uh, am I the weirdo could have done, like, a whole episode of, like... When Vision and White Vision were like, oh the, yeah, oh, absolutely. I could have done a whole episode of them just talking. At to least each other. thirty, like a solid thirty minutes of just them talking to each other. That would have been like, do a soft twenty, and I'm happy. <laughs> like, like I don't need much, but I need more than what you gave me. Yeah, yeah. like you can like, have them fighting for ten of those minutes and have them talking for ten of those minutes. I would have been fine. <laughs> yeah, but that's hard. That's hard to do. Just write up. It's a lot of yeah. Because that, that was, I'm sure that was hard enough writing about the um, the ship. Uh, oh yeah, that ship. What is that called? It's the ship problem of like if you replace. Up, the, can you look up the proper? The theory. It's yeah. some um, some Greek thing. I can't remember. If you, uh, I don't remember. If if you replace, if you replace the, every part, part on ship, a ship, yeah. is it still the same ship? Yeah. Is it? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> hmm. That's a weird one. It's like a band. That's like a band thing. Ship of thesis. Yeah. 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 Is it thesis or theses? Theses, I think. Theses. Yeah. Theses. Secondly, if those removed planks are restored and reassembled free of the rot, is that the ship of theses? He asked. Yeah. Yeah. It's a tough one. I think it is. <laughs> you place meaning on things, so if you say it is, it is. Yeah. It's like saying a, a band is, you know, the same band from four years ago. Is it, is it the same band? I guess so. Nope, still, but you can hope. <laughs> it's still got the meaning behind it, I guess. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. Anywho. Excited for these next two episodes. Excited for Loki to come out. Uh, yeah. Oh, Loki's going to be dope. There is some people, though, I've seen on uh, TikTok that were, like, talking about Loki. And they were like, oh, but Loki's still alive or whatever. I was like, not in, like, 
our universe of yeah, uh, Marvel. Yeah, and then, he's in 2012 timeline now. Yeah, the current one, he's dead. Like, he, <laughs> yeah, no, this is just a separate series that doesn't really have anything to do with ours until they do multiverse stuff, and if that gets involved in all that. And I heard they're going to explain all the whole, like, why the people that are trying to get him for doing time stuff are going to be like, why they didn't interfere in the whole in-game thing, because apparently they're the ones who, like, wrap up all those, like, got all those branching timelines. Mm. They're, the one, they're the ones who wrap those up, apparently. But Interesting. It'll be cool. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Um, anyways, always a pleasure, boys. Uh, everybody that rocks with us all the way to the end. Hope you guys enjoy the episode. Y'all be easy. Peace. <laughs>